Hi, this is Dave Vissers here. This is probably one of my first videos that I will be doing of uh, my computer upgrade. I currently have a box in behind me, uh, X99 platform with a 5820K, uh, 32 gig of uh, Gale Superloose uh, DDR4 RAM, and a 980 Ti. What I plan on doing is getting the 1080 Ti. I have the Trident Z RGB RAM. I also have RGB fittings from Thermaltake. I also have Thermaltake uh, RGB ring fans and uh, computer case. I am on the debate of what platform I want to be on. Do I want to be on X99 platform again? Just go a step up above this and go Broadwell E? Or do I want to do Ryzen? Since I do have the Thermaltake View 31 uh, tempered glass case, and um, which has a lot more room than what this case does. It's the same length as this case, but it's about two inches wider than the Z11 Neo. I like the case. I like the style of this case. The uh, window, the acrylic side window on the side is nice. It's slightly smoked, which I don't mind. The View 31 case also is slightly smoked. What I am going for for my next computer build is to not have any LED strips in the case itself. I want everything that I want to be shown to actually be illuminated. But this is not about that. It's about something I'm going to actually put inside the case. Um, I had this idea. I saw it one time on a YouTube video and I can't remember where I saw it so I did some digging and I bought uh, something to try to see if it was even feasible and it was a little screen that I want to put inside the case to show me my system status when the C CPU is getting hit uh, how the temperatures are on the CPU and the GPU what percentage is being used how much RAM is being used you know stuff like that normally that you can put on the desktop with gadgets with my upgrade, I'm also going to go from the dual uh, 1440p monitors to a alt to one single ultra wide. So, real estate will be good with the ultra wide, but not as good as two 1440p 27 inch monitors. So, real estate will be kind of crimped a little bit, and I don't want to have too many things up on the screen that I actually want to keep an eye on, and also be able to edit videos like this one. So. Let's show you the little setup that I got right now just as a test and to see if it will actually, hopefully, work just as fine. Okay, what I have right here is a little 5 inch screen. This little 5 inch screen is, I'll get it out of here, it's actually for a um, Raspberry Pi because it has connections on the bottom that you can directly connect it onto a Raspberry Pi little switch right here to turn off the backlight which you actually kind of want on but anywho it's powered by USB that's where it gets its power and it is a full-size HDMI HDMI input to give the video feed what I have right here is a program called rain meter rain meter is a program that you can put in its multiple pl programs um, with multiple different plugins uh, where you can adjust, you can have a complete background. It's like this is a plugin, the RAM is a plugin, the temperatures are another plugin. You got to have um, fan speed um, installed on the computer before you can get the GPU and the CPU uh, percentages and temperatures. Also, CPU usage. Each one of the blinking dots that you see here is each little flicker of or each core that's being hit. Down here is a bar graph. If I open up something, let's say, let's open up Premiere Pro, you see it, the usage getting hit pretty good. Well, sort of. Let's bring up a fast as hell recap. There, quick little jump. All right, let's put this back here, back again, so it can stand up just right. There we go. Right here, I have it say audio output so if I do a playback and pause it's another plugin that you can add in um, this whole basic setup was um, 
The guy who made this frame and this setup did it to an old CRT monitor. I mean, a real dinky travel size CRT monitor that he was able to connect to his computer. I thought it was, it's quite basic, which is cool. It's computerized because of the font that's used. Um, and on the other side of uh, smoked, tinted, uh, tempered glass, it should be quite visible. I'll put a link in the description, but this little monitor right here was only $35 on Amazon. Some of the newer video cards, the 10 series, has a HDMI pass-through for, uh, for VR. I'm gonna wait until a 1080 Ti comes out that it has that. I do believe the Gigabyte version will have the um, HDMI pass-through so I can have all the cables internally. Um, I probably will end up splicing the, the power, the USB power, I will be splicing that into a Molex cable so I can have just USB power without, because it doesn't use any data. So it just needs power to run the screen. I'll cut my own acrylic frame for it and I'll figure out a place where to put it in the case. I am currently not sure where I'm gonna put it in the case, but I know I am gonna put it in the case. This little screen, this little screen is gonna go inside my newest computer case. And since I'm using rain meter, which starts up on startup, this will be displayed right away. Um, the one trick I did have to do was to get fan speed to actually start up as the computer starts up. And by the way of doing tasks, I was able to get fan speed to actually start up so that the CPU and GPU actually do register. Okay, what I have here it's one of the tempered glass panels for the View 31. One of the four millimeter glass panels. I am about mm, at least six inches away from the little screen. So, um, yeah, it'd be highly visible. That little monitor, I could probably stick right up here. Maybe, I'm troubleshooting right now. I'm trying to figure out where. Um, a good spot would be actually right here on this uh, bracket, the vertical GPU bracket, that would be a really neat spot to put it. Then it'll be close to my screen that I'll have. And then I really can go big with the reservoir. Um, I could probably put, uh, that's the thing, I'm still in the design phases of this entire case. The main idea that I had was putting that monitor in here. If I put the monitor here, I could put the reservoir over here with no issues and the rest of this is highly open. This is gonna be a fun build. You know what? It's gonna be a really, really fun build. Like I said, this is gonna be the first of multiple videos building up this thing for 4K editing. That's what it's gonna be for. The 5820K I got right now works beautifully for 2.7K which is what I use with my um, DJI Advanced right now. But this summer I will be, or this spring actually, I'll be getting an Inspire 2 and also a DJI Mavic Pro. I want something that will rip through 4K video. Let me know what you guys think, if I should do AMD or if I should go Intel. If you like this video, like, subscribe, share it, and let's get a little conversation going. Which which way should I go with this? Is that monitor, is rain meter actually going to work with AMD? That's the thing I'm not too sure about neither. If you got a new AMD Ryzen system, try rain meter on it for me and let me know. Thanks for watching.